Well, Tuesday this week, I spent the morning in uh, Kaufman County Courthouse uh, in the final hearing for the Pardo case. Um, the attorneys for the Pardo family had negotiated with CPS. They agreed to dismiss the case with prejudice. That means that it cannot be addressed again. The case is over. Uh, they had worked out a deal, uh, so we thought we were going in there for a, a short hearing. And the attorney ad litem appointed by the court to represent Drake threw a monkey wrench in the works. We spent almost an hour, hour and a half uh, with her telling the court that she did not agree. We couldn't trust these parents. How do we know that Drake was going to be safe? She put um, CASA workers on the stand who also disagreed. Ultimately, the judge said, I'm going to agree, I'm going to sign this order and end this because CPS wants that to happen. And so, praise God, it's over. Um, I'm sure you've seen the video of the family uh, tearfully thanking everyone who's contributed and prayed and worked and supported them. So the issue now is, uh, what about all those other families that didn't have the advocates and the resources that we were able to bring bear, to bear for the Pardos. So how many more thousands of families and children have to be impacted by the abuse of CPS in these kinds of cases before the legislature acts? So we rejoice with the, the Pardo family and we thank the Lord for his answer to these prayers, but the legislature needs to act on this to defend these other families and children. Click on the links below for more information and thank you for helping us we help the Pardos and to keep Texas families free.